What if you could build a village from the ground up, where every life matters? Welcome to Settlements Rising, a medieval city building sim that blends the calm of colony management with the depth of over 35 professions and a living, breathing population. From the moment your villagers are born until their final days, they learn, work and thrive, each with their own unique stories. Settlements Rising is a game created by a developer called The Catalyst Crew, which is due to be released early access via Steam on October 2nd, which is only a day away. The developer is someone who likes to play city building games and try to combine the things they like about the kind of games they like to play, and that's how this game came to be. I'll take you inside the world of Settlements Rising today, and while playing it, share my thoughts and feelings on what makes this game so great. Before that though, make sure you hit the subscribe button and if you feel this video deserves a like, they surely would be appreciated. But let's dive into Settlements Rising. Welcome to Early Access, and thank you for joining the Early Access of Settlements Rising. So you've got a lovely little message from Kana who is the sole developer. And he states, as the sole developer I pulled my passion into creating this game. Your feedback is incredibly valuable to me. If you encounter any bugs or issues, please don't hesitate to report them through Steam or on the Discord channel. Your insights will help shape the final experience. That for me is just wonderful. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna start a new game. All right, I'm not really much of a chill or a hardcore, so I'm gonna go with survival. I'm not going to change any of the settings. So we're just gonna go as it is. So when you first open the game, you get offered to put down your town center to begin with. So if you zoom out, you can just see what sort of resource you got around you. Now this game is very good when it comes to this. So I can see already by here you got some you got you got some trees you got some tr you got some stone uh, you got some lovely little what's this by here so that is herbs and greens so that's great uh, we've also got some deer around the area which is again amazing great for like you know especially by here look at that by there that's amazing now one thing to look out for is predators in this game this game has got predators so you got bears you got wolves but I think. I think this area is pretty oh hang on you got bears by there okay oh and you got bears up this and wolves as well that's <laughs> so not a good combination so we're gonna stick to over here a little bit so if we maybe put our town center maybe i would probably see what's that for there so that's medical roots which is again invaluable i would probably stick here you got some fishing opportunities as well by you you got some stone over there you got fishing by there no we haven't got fishing so I tell you what, knowing that we got fish by here, I'm gonna stick the town centre by here actually. So have we got any we have got deer, we got deer by there, which is great. And we got deer by there. So we got plenty of deer, plenty of resources. So yeah, I think the town centre well sorry, the <laughs> the town centre would look wonderful. I would probably say right in the middle. So if we just go with that. Of course I do! So here we are. So here's my villagers. All right, so I've got 16 villagers. I got, what is it? So I got 10 adults, four children, and two babies. So first priority in this game. Luckily, you get a storage car. So you get given all this food by year. So you have got food for like up to a year, which is just incredible. So we can do, oh, hang on. By the way, before I carry on, this game has got an amazing feature, which I have to show you. So if you have a look, it's got streamer mode. Now, People like me, this is amazing. Um, the game includes purchased and developer compost soundtracks. So streamer mode enables play only developer compost music. So it won't go against you. So there we are. Nice little trick there from the developer, lovely. So as I was saying, we need to harvest our resources. So let's get some wood. So if we just get some over here. Now, we need to try and get some as quick as we can. Now, if I remember rightly, obviously, because of when we scouted the map right before we did this. So, here we go. If we just chop down these trees by here. Okay, now, we need to build some housing as well. So, here's the building options. Now, housing. So, straight away, you got level 1 housing unlocked. you got storage as well. Food production. So, the gathering huts where they pick, like, berries and fruits. And then the hunting hut is where they get like, you know, like hunt wild deer and things like that. Fishing huts, pretty much self-explanatory. And then the rest then by here is unlocked. So we we'll, won't focus on them for the time being. Resources, we've got a water well for your water. Uh, we've got woodcutters, weavers workshop, cobblers workshop. So all this is vital to your town. Services, we've got a compost yard. So basically someone gets employed to like 
pick out all the poop and <laughs> things like that from all the buildings. Which are then, in turn, gets used for your crop fields, which is just amazing. You've got a cemetery, healer's huts, schools. You can build schools, trading docks, marketplaces, shipyards. You get the gist of it. Lots on offer. Decorations. Guys, you can build parks in this game. You can build parks. How amazing is that? Parks. All right, I'll say it again. Parks. Amazing. And then, of course, your defenses. So, I can't build it yet. All right, but there we are. It's unlocked now. So, for example, I can build, like, a wall going across by here. And it'll just protect your village. So, nice little, uh, nice little touch there. Now that we've unlocked all that, if we just get all this wood by here. I don't want to get too much of it, but this would be, like, a great starting point. Because there's deer and all that over there. And I don't really want to affect that too much. So, if we just get this as well. There we are. I'm not too bothered by the rest. So... Build, we need housing. So, housing. So if we just get, where can we build these houses? So, Mark is down there. We could probably build it. Mm, I would probably say build it towards, well, in this little square by here, maybe. So, if we, let's have a little think about this, though. I don't want it being too thing. Oh, I tell you what, actually. What we'll do, we'll build it over here. Okay, so... Build it right by the lake. So one, two, three, four. There we go. Because we already got 16 homeless villagers. We can't have that. We also need as well to build a storage. So what I'll do, I'll build the storage. If I build that by there, that'd be good like that. Food production. So yes, the gathering hut. So look, look how much. Look at all this that we can get by here. Look at all that. That is just incredible. So... I'll stick that over there. And then the hunting hut. I will stick that. Say there. But then one thing I like about this. Is that where to is it? So services. Where to is it? Where to is it? Forester's hut. So look by here. To preserve natural forest areas. And the animals living within them. So if I literally build this. Next to that. So, do you see where I'm chopping down all this wood? This will literally just encourage it to, to regrow. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to prioritize that so it gets built straight away. Yes, please. Let's go over some of the tabs of the bomb. So, obviously, we've gone through the build bit. We've gone through the harvest resources. This, by you, we get to build roads. You could build stone roads or dirt roads. I haven't unlocked stone roads yet, but these just look lovely when they're built. Dirt roads, see, look, you can just build all that. Um, in this game, you do build by square, so you can't really, like, curve it and things like that. But, like always, is you know, a bit of a workaround. This by here is your occupation, so you can see what you've got. So, you know, what you built, what your people from your village are doing what. Obviously, the more you unlock, the more you'll see. Look, they got cheese makers in this game. Cheese makers! This by here is your resources. So, as you can tell by here, I've got lots and lots of bread, meats, and fish. So I'm not really concerned about any of that at the minute. I've also got clothes as well. So shoes. <laughs> we've got it all. Firewood. Um, we've got no gold though. We've got no weapons. Raw material. Looking good. Looking good. So this is your villager list. So as you can tell, you've got your name, the age, whether they're female or a male, and what they do as well. So i got two builders and I've got loads of laborers. So it's pretty cool. And of course, then the final one is the building list. Now, at the minute, we've only got town center and one house because that's all I built. But this will grow as your town grows as well. So always bear that in mind. So if we just build that for the time being, just so they got a path. And then we could sort of build like a path that goes from the town, from the, you know, from the town center. And then if we build that up, Right for there. There we are, lovely. Oh, see, look already. Look at that wonderful stuff. So I go back onto here. If I just put that as an extra builder, just to help out. What the builder will start doing is, see, look, they're already doing it. They're already building the path. That is just wonderful. We need water. Water, or water, as we say in the UK. So I'm probably going to stick this somewhere by here. Right by the lake. It'll just look nice. 
and we need a wood cutter so when we got our wood pieces we got someone to chop them into into things for the you know to heat up the homes sort of thing a weaver's workshop so this bike here is to produce clothing for your people who live here trust me they need this really badly i've um i played without worrying about this and my village have died because it's too cold so and then so i've done a weaver's a cobbler's workshop so cobbler's workshop produces shoes from animal hides so again we just get that sorted and then a miner's hut. I'm not worried about a miner's hut right now. Um, I've got a forest's hut, as we know. Um, Herbalist workshop. Gathering hut is not built, so we need a gathering hut for that. This is where it gets a bit stinky. <laughs> so, a compost yard. See, the bottom it says desirability, very undesirable. Well, it, because no one wants to live near this. Because it is just filled with human waste. So, we're going to stick this as far away as we can all right so if we just stick it say up there what we'll do is though we'll build a path going up there just so they don't feel left out i guess <laughs> here we are we'll put it we'll build it across the lake and then we'll build it going up to there there we go when her yeah that's fine that's fine don't worry about it <laughs> that's fine Oh, doesn't the snow look really pretty in this game? It looks lush, doesn't it? Now, I've had a warning to say there are no food production stores available. Not to fear, because these are currently being built. They're just taking a while. <laughs> so, to help with that, okay, what we'll do, we'll prioritize these two next. There we go, because they are building... Well, they can finish building that, so that's fine. They can finish building that, but these ones can wait, in all fairness. The other ones need to do it. So, if we just go on to... Let's just have a look. So, we've got a forester. Lovely. Okay. So, he's going to make sure all of our animals and all of our trees grow back, which is just wonderful. Too well, let's forage the stone as well. Here we are. If we forage the stone... There we go. Lovely. Here we go. That's plenty of stone. We've already mined quite a lot of it. God, look at that. Brute strength. Go on, girl. You can do it. Go on, son. <laughs> right. All of our villagers are housed, I believe. Waiting for resources to fertilize us. So that's fine. Uh, that's going to be built with the compost yards. So we need more people coming in, though. So for that, we need to build more housing. So we just build so if i just get so if i build a path so if i build how will this look if i just build some houses going like that one two i tell you what two is fine here we are don't want to make things you know over dramatic here but so we'll do that and then we'll put this path going down here, over into the market, sorry, the market, the town centre, and then back. There we are, they almost finally built our gathering hut, which basically means we can get berries, you know, medical stuff, all that sort of jazz, you know? But come on, buddy, you need to hurry up now, come on, <laughs> come on, just, you're just a one-man army by you, ain't you? I tell you what, let's speed you up, just so they can see. There we go. Come on. These buildings look so beautiful. There we are. Already built. Lovely job. So, gathering hut. We'll probably make two people. Available resources. Mushrooms, medical roots, and berries. Lovely job. Fishing hut as well. Fishing hut. Yes, please. So, producing food is so important in this game. So... There we are. So what we could do is if we build a fishing hut for there and then another gathering hut for there and then another gathering hut by here, it means we should be okay resource wise. So for this one, what I'll do, I'll kick you and just make that one person. There we go. There we go. Our first influx of immigrants coming into my village which is just marvelous so just to make sure 
are they adults? So, are they adults? Let's go on to this. Ooh, okay. Alright, excellent. Okay, village list. So, labourer, 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 lab unemployed, unemployed. Okay, alright, cool. So, what we'll do is, we'll make more builders. Make less labourers. So, there we go. Lovely job. Okay, that's good. Here we are. Happy days. Oh, look at her dragging, dra <laughs> dragging him into the building. Skin and air line. At least it's not gory. That's a nice touch. At least it's not gory. Okay, at least it's not gory. Now, with a bit of luck, all right, my food has gone up. So, luckily, I've got some meat, got some berries, and I've got some mushrooms for my villagers as well. So, touch wood. It's all going good right now. So, we're just building, obviously, some of these. So, we got a weaver's workshop, and we got the cobbler's workshop as well. So, we got that currently building. So we need fiber. Now there's fiber over here. So if we just make this a priority just to build that, then we should be able to build, we should be okay with that. So is there any service buildings that we can build just to help out? So a herbalist workshop, oh yeah, that's probably a good shout. It just basically means if any of my, if any of my citizens get ill, um, they can just go here, get fixed, you know, as a like hospital. <laughs> so, we'll probably go with that. Stay by here and watch, and just watch this game over and over and over again. This game is seriously incredible. It's so good. Like, I can just chill out, enjoy the game. I haven't been attacked by any wild animals yet, though, nor other villagers. So, there's always that to consider <laughs> so we'll keep my eye out for that wow look at her dragging the deer's carcass up there wow what a woman what a woman you are she's single-handedly feeding the entire village i mean come on guys you know what i'm going to build a barracks and an archery range as well just in case no one might look <laughs> i'll get attacked so i'm gonna build i would probably build the barracks there that's fine and then i'll build the archery range right next to it so there we go so we got archery range and then we got a barrack so that's our military obviously they won't build it yet so that's fine all by here i want to build like a crop so have i unlocked it yet so hopefully i have um crops where's the crop field where's the crop fields Food production, right, so I need a minimum population of 30, so once I'm at 30, which I'm not too far away, I'll get it. Oh, another four immigrants, yes please. I should have enough room as well, but I'm going to build another house, so. So yeah, looking all good. Food-wise, I am good. So I've got 609 food is needed only for villagers. Last year, 602 was produced. Obviously, that will go up and up and up. See, look, it's already going. Ooh. Okay, hang on. Um, I would rather use 100 meat because then I've got, I've got a lot more stocks. There we go. Lovely. One thing I want to do as well, I want to, I want to put down a cemetery. So when, when unfortunately, my people sort of that's the way. We've got somewhere to go to. So, yeah. I put a cemetery over there. But look, all of my stuff is being built. So, this is great. Now, wood. I need some more wood. So, I just get all of these suckers by here. That's it. I'll just mine all of this. Even though it's covered in snow. <laughs> it's covered in snow. It's okay, though. We'll just get that mined. And then we'll look at what else we can do for our lovely village that seems to be growing. So there's our crop field. Lovely job. So if I just put that there. So that's... Mm, that's one crop field. Oh, no. I don't want to get rid of berry bushes. So if I just do that. There we go. And if I build another crop field right next to it. 
Yes, I can build right next to it. So this one can be bigger. Yeah, the mushroom's fine. I don't really care about the mushroom. So hopefully these will be built very soon. One thing I want to go over as well in this game, which I find absolutely incredible, is that the game incorporates common illnesses, such as the common colds and flus and things like that, which for me is just mind-boggling. Like, seriously, just how can you think of these things? It's just incredible. There goes our guy fishing, getting some fish for the village. Lovely job. So I've got a really good steady supply of food coming in now. I've got greens, berries, meat, fish... A really good vi wide variety. So once my crop fields are built, I mean, my villagers will get everything. Like, everything. <laughs> Just unbelievable. Oh, look, one of our crop fields is done. So, crop cycle. Let's have a little look. So, medical roots, herbs, grains, fiber plant, greens, which is probably the easiest to make. So, fiber plants are a source of fiber and used to make clothes. Okay. Uh, used to make flour and feed livestock. We haven't got any livestock, so I'm not really concerned about that. Herbs. Um, to make herbal medicine. Medical roots. What about greens? Greens. Um, I would probably say greens. So let's put greens on that one. Hopefully this one is almost built. They're just awaiting resources. Oh, look at all these people with a common cold. <laughs> Look at him go. Look at that. What a champion you are. You know what? You're a champion. We need some water though, lovely. Anyway, we'll just let her get on with it. Bless her. Well, I got two archers. And I got two swordsmen. Well, militia, sorry. One of them being Godfrey. Got menacing he looks. Lovely. So, I can actually move him as well. So, look at that. Let's make him stand guard. So, if you... Sort of guard this area. And you sort of guard this area. We should be okay. So I tell you what. If we have, if we have you actually scattered. You're fine by there. So if we have you scattered. So if you're over there. There we go. That should mean then. Generally. We got some actually. Um, half decent protection. So <laughs> it's not the best. But seriously guys. I hope you can kind of see how how amazing the game is seriously i can honestly play this for hours if you did if you do like the look of this game and it kind of feels like you want to get it i mean the the link to the game down below for steam will be linked down below and of course the trailer for the game will be linked down below as well it will be releasing on the 2nd of october so well tomorrow <laughs> and unless you were looking at this obviously after the game has been released if you haven't had a look at it and you have and you've had a look at this and you like it then please by all means click on it it's a great game big love to the developer of this game truly fantastic game my thoughts are extremely positive regarding this so thank you ever so much to the developers of offering me this early access so guys if you have enjoyed it by all means leave me a like if you haven't enjoyed it feel free to leave me a dislike but until next time have a great day i'll see you very soon and bye